Wars rectangular back again with a, another haul video. This time I'm going to start off with the loose figures. I've got uh, Series 3 Magneto here. It took me a while to find this loose um, for a decent price. Um, unfortunately, since um, really we only have this Magneto and the Marvel Select and then the variant of this figure that comes in a um, I think it's a four pack um, that's got the uh, angry open mouth um, version of the head um, you know there's not a whole lot of Magnetos to choose from so he still commands pretty uh, unreasonable price sometimes on eBay so um, I was lucky enough to find this on Facebook from uh, somebody on the action figure uh, trading community page anyway it's not a bad figure it's not great um, pretty much the same body mold as the series one um, Iron Man that I still have in the package um, he doesn't have an ab crunch he just has the uh, um, ab pivot and it's got this really odd um, ab joint that uh, he just kinda sits high into um, and he's got the uh, the Y cuts uh, or Y um, joint with the uh, thigh cuts for the leg joints um, does have ankle rockers he's got a nice shimmer on the on the purple parts of his paint um, does have the removable helmet which is pretty decent um, not too rubbery um, not too rigid the uh, major complaint I have about these older Toy Biz figures that uh, have the same a lot of the same articulation as the Spider-Man Classics waves uh, is the neck um, this one the paint is a little bit scratched on mine he uh, it's got this weird joint that goes into the head and where mine on my Spider-Man broke off and it turns then the whole neck turns around and then the head um, is kind of on a ball joint um, it, but there's no disc so you can't really look up or down very well um, you know it's not bad but it definitely um, needed work I'm glad that we have a solid neck now with a um, either a ball joint or a ball joint on a disc which is ideal anyway and he's got these really odd shoulder sockets um, don't really um, didn't really wanted to get into a full review but um, anyway <laughs> figure since got him out I would Show as much as I, as I could. Stick him over there for now. Next, another not very good figure um, is Mandarin. Um, he only came in a two pack with either Iron Man or um, uh, War Machine. I really have been wanting to find the unmasked version um, that comes with War Machine. Um, and, but hopefully we'll get a movie version of the figure when uh, Iron Man 3 comes out because he does appear in that film um, anyway the skirt is really heavy and my friend uh, AJ Frost um, can look for a link down below to his channel um, he uh, cut the cape off in the back and he actually cut the sleeves off um, I think I'm just going to cut uh, slits in the uh, armpits to help with the articulation, but the um, figure is really hindered by this uh, by this robe because um, it's just such a stiff, thick um, rubber material. Um, and yeah, he, he can look down fairly well, but um, because of his hair, he can't really look up. Um, which kind of sucks because if he's fighting Iron Man and Iron Man's flying, it's like, you know, unless you put him on a stand, you know, he's, and, and that's just going to look weird. So, I probably will end up cutting the cape, and um, I'm actually going to, um, trying to 
get a deal for a unmasked head to use for that figure. Oh, I forgot to show um, the effects parts that uh, Ma Mandarin comes with. It comes with these pretty cool um, effects that uh, slip onto his hands like so. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so moving on to the other figures I got. Okay, so next up we have the two pack with Iron Man and Maria Hill. Um, I initially was going to try to find Maria Hill loose or Sharon Carter, either one, because uh, this pack comes with both heads. And, um, was just going to stick with my series one Iron Man, but um, my friend James Collins pointed out to me um, how nice this Iron Man figure is and uh, found a good deal on this two pack. So I um, went ahead and got it and pretty happy. Um, also got this loose. This is the same Iron Man from the two pack. And got a super good deal on him. Loose. So I can show you. This one did not come with the um, spare hands. Um, it only came with the hands he's got right now. And did not come with the Tony Stark head. Um, but I figure if um, I want to keep one in a permanent setup with my um, classic Avengers and use the other one for ACBA, then I can do that. Um, very cool figure. Um, would like it if he could look up a little bit further. Actually, he probably can. Just need to. He's got. He's really stiff. Oh, there we go. That's great. So you can get him in some pretty awesome flying poses. And yeah, this one's in excellent shape. It's got a nice tight ab crunch. And uh, James did warn me about the um, um, the shins are a little bit different color than the legs. You can see the paint difference. Actually, mine in the two pack. Um, the other problem with these a lot of times is the uh, the paint bleed from uh, glossy paint to the non-glossy paint um, the one in my two pack, I don't know if you can see here um, is a lot more dramatic it looks, it's kind of pink um, it looks like his leg is bleeding <laughs> um, so I'm actually glad I got this uh, loose one because this loose one's uh, not nearly as noticeable um, so I'll probably keep the one from the package uh, in with my um, permanent setup of uh, Classic Avengers and then just use this guy for ACBA. And next. Alright, so the last thing I got was a, another two-pack with the Red Hand Ninja and Nick Fury slash Shield Agent. Um, I had made a deal with um, Bob the Odd and um, traded him uh, I bought a two pack just like this and kept the shield the uh, hand ninja and then uh, traded him the shield agent um, for uh, one of his red hand ninjas so this makes uh, six hand ninjas and I decided okay I better get some shield agents so um, I'm gonna keep this shield agent in addition to the uh, two loose ones that I just got um, on Facebook from uh, JRE Nightmare got an excellent deal on these and this was just after I got um, a loose Nick Fury so um, yeah not a huge fan of this figure but um, 
he's not too expensive if you get him loose on eBay and um, he did come with the pistol I just didn't throw it in here for the video um, it's got the cool little removable jetpack and yeah that's pretty much it so if I want to go with the classic um, Nick Fury setup and use the um, the original Nick Fury I can do that um, and then I've got uh, um, the Samuel Jackson and the ultimate Nick Fury if I want to go that route as well anyway I um, hope you guys like this haul video got another one coming up soon and uh, please share like and comment and subscribe talk to you later bye